Recording? Yeah. All right. So what we have here, you're probably you're going to start here right now with answering the question, what is Mozilla WebMaker? And then in a bit, I will go through some of the um, features of a uh, WebMaker in a moment. So let's start just with Mozilla WebMaker. This right here is the icon. If you see this on any page and click on it, it take you to the webmaker.org homepage. That's important because as you go through and you see lots of tools and stuff on WebMaker, you'll always see this icon or you generally will see this icon somewhere. A lot of times it's over here on the right. You click to it, it takes you right back to the WebMaker homepage. There's a lot of windows that pop up and I think it's kind of good to get to, to know them. So what is Mozilla WebMaker? Well, you know the internet is evolving like so fast and I have been working like crazy this um, summer being familiarizing myself with all the tools that are changing and that are available and trying to take advantage of them for my students to make class a little bit better for them and um, one, of, one of my favorite ones that I spent a lot of time on this summer is WebMaker and um, y you know things just changed by the time I signed up for this class and said I will give an overview of the tools on WebMaker and help people learn to build their own web pages and for more intermediate users when I when I said that I didn't know that they were planning to introduce a brand new tool and that looks like it came out in the last maybe few days um, I don't know the last time I was on WebMaker for sure but they definitely didn't have this new app maker and in fact this whole page is brand new to me um, as I you know as I look at it with um, no real time left for me to 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 spend much time exploring on my own but I'm gonna tell you that um, you, you, I would recommend highly that you get in here and explore I do know that for example in the resources tab they have training materials that are good for students they're outstanding for students and and I mean students of all ages that we can get in there and learn about creating things on the internet was it Mozilla WebMaker is mostly about creating on the internet but if you take a look um, it's not just creating in fact they have things um, it says resources for teaching and learning they have things kind of organized from exploring to learn about how to get around the internet things that you might not know about navigating the internet to building and creating in the internet okay there's there's training in there materials in there and then connecting and participating and I really like this in here about privacy um, and open practices and I think these are good things for people to understand and kids even you know we talk about digital citizenship and I think it's it's good for them to to kinda know um, but basically you know that's the approach that they use here is for you to discover what they have make things and then share it that's that's pretty much what they're trying to do and um, the more people share the better that we learn we learn more and more things so um, but I am gonna just introduce you right now less focus on resources not going to explore right yet but just talk about the tools so again app maker is the brand new tool that just started you know as far as I'm concerned today I'm interested to go and see when it actually was published because I I hadn't seen it before today x-ray goggles is the first tool and I love it the x-ray goggles I will demonstrate it in a little bit here for you but with x-ray goggles what you can do is you can click on any web page and it will show you the HTML for that web page and then you can modify it okay pretty cool you can modify any page you want and um, and that's the x-ray goggles tool okay the other the next tool and this is the one that I use the most this is good for exploring and learning this one's more for creating this is called thimble so with thimble what you do is you take a web page and then you um, modify it okay and what they call it they call it a remix so you're going to um, actually have I'll, I'll show you in a bit but you'll be able to have a chance to edit pages save them for them for yourself and share okay over here we have popcorn maker um, popcorn maker just is a video editing tool personally uh, I think it's not as powerful a tool if you are into making web videos you'll look at this and say gosh it's real basic I can't do this I can't do that well all these tools are real basic they're meant for learning and exploring um, for students this is a great tool that they could begin to make their own web videos and um, share them with people there are limitations we'll talk about that and the app maker is a very basic app tool that I've been exploring a little bit in the last couple hours just uh, trying to get myself familiar with but I really look forward to spending more time on it so these are the tools they are a part of 
Webmaker, the resources includes training. Over here you have events. So they have this thing called uh, uh, maker events. And that's where people gather together with somebody who's trained and they host these events. They have these maker parties and they're doing them all over the world. And somebody hosts some that has some more experience. And you can see, you know, it's been done. It's done all over. I was looking, there was one this summer in Salt Lake. I even thought, oh, wouldn't that be kind of fun to go down there and, and check it out? But you can see just uh, today, the 27th, Bangladesh, Brooklyn, and uh, North Dakota are all hosting um, webmaker events uh, today. And tomorrow, uh, you've got the Ivory Coast there, Argentina, um, a webmaker party in London. Another one in uh, Chicago, Bangladesh again. Oh my gosh, London again. There's the Philippines. So around the earth, they're throwing parties. And that's what these events are. You can add your own. You can host your own event. Um, but I would recommend you get somebody really talented uh, to help you with that. So exploring. Here you have uh, um, you know, the, the, the introduction really into the tools of how of what you can do with these things okay so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and end this video now you kinda see what webmaker is but now I'm gonna end this video and I'll soon start another video where I actually demonstrate the features and um, so that's that's uh, where we're gonna end it